Is this the death of anime Roblox games? Well, um, probably not from the looks of it. What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the My Hero Academia big huge controversy that happened like two or three weeks ago at this point. I'm really late to the party, but I'm still getting requests to talk about it. So I figured out I might as well because I think there's a lot of people that are freaking out about this for probably very little reason. But then on the flip side, I think there's also a lot of people that seem to think because they're kids that making games on stolen property was fine before and isn't now as if that's like somehow changed, which it hasn't. But we're going to be talking about that. Anyways, as for the game itself, uh, no, I did not scam myself into paying 100 Robux for this pile of garbage. I did not pay for it. Um, the footage that you're seeing in the background was recorded by someone completely different, so shout outs to them. Their channel will be linked in the description because I'm using all of their gameplay in order to show off how bad this is. But generally speaking, what happened here? If you're out of the loop, what happened was this massive conglomerate for Roblox games called GameFan, which basically goes around and makes just the safest, unapologetically, like, boring, pander to the Roblox audience games possible in order to make as much money as possible, partnered with the people behind My Hero Academia to make a officially licensed Roblox My Hero game and then in the process of doing that, in order to make sure there was no competition whatsoever, they took down every single game on the Roblox platform that had to do with My Hero, including an incredibly popular game called Anime Adventures. Now, I'll be perfectly upfront that I am not a huge fan of Anime Adventures. I couldn't give less of a shit about it being taken down if I'm being perfectly honest. If you want to know what that game is, it's basically balloons tower defense but you have to gamble for all of your towers which child gambling here we go again yeah we've been here before not a fan but regardless the game was wildly popular it was taken down and it got the entire conversation started seemingly finally about licensed content on roblox and how surprise surprise it's not exactly a safe business venture that shit's hella risky because you're stealing stuff now, whether you see it as fortunate or unfortunate, the people over at GameFan completely dropped the ball. They really couldn't have screwed up more. Uh, and so for those of us who enjoy playing licensed and blatantly stolen games and don't want them to vanish and be replaced with a bunch of licensed just garbage, GameFam is doing their best to make sure that that doesn't happen by making quite possibly the saddest attempt at a licensed big budget Roblox game maybe ever. And yeah, sure, it's a paid beta, but you need to pay to access it. So I, I don't, I don't, I'm not entirely sure what they were thinking here. Effectively, despite being labeled as a Battlegrounds game, uh, this game is not that. This game is simply a grind to win bandit beater game where you go around and you kill the guys in the correct order until you reach max level and then that's it. Which like, I don't understand if maybe my fluffy cat who just showed up out of nowhere, maybe like she because she doesn't have very many brain cells, maybe she would enjoy that, but I don't really see how the people at GameFam or whoever they paid to make this game, yada yada yada, I don't know how they thought that this would like be the number one best game for My Hero on the platform and everyone would just suddenly be on board with this as opposed to everything that's been taken down. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. My best guess is that they were like, well, if we're the only one, it doesn't matter how bad it is. So we can just put out something that we don't care whatsoever about. And as long as we're the only one, people have to play it. Which, uh, yeah, that didn't really pan out for them now, did it? Because nobody's playing this and the like to dislike ratio has been obliterated. So we do have to loop kind of back around as to why did I say that this probably isn't the end of Roblox anime games as a whole. And the reason for that is really quite simple, uh, and it comes down to money. See, here's the deal. Right now, Roblox anime games are making absolute bank on Roblox. They are making so much money, and all of this money is effectively stolen. Like, there's no other way about it. These people don't own these properties, they don't own, they don't hold copyright rights, and they're just going in, stealing it, and then making money off of it. 
Uh, and all of that stolen money is money that these companies that do own the properties obviously want a hand in. But I think there's a very good chance that a lot of them don't actually know how much money is being made here, which is part of the reason why we haven't seen any sort of action taken. Regardless, GameFam clearly saw an opportunity here, they just dropped the ball horrendously. These licensed games need, number one, the ability to buy the license, which is expensive, and number two, the ability to get developers who are talented enough to actually make a halfway decent game. And surprise, surprise, getting halfway decent developers to make a game, that also costs a good chunk of money. So if you were a copyright holder or a corporation and you were looking in and you saw that the result of the one person who tried to come in and take down all of these games and then replace it with their own take failed miserably, made basically zero money, and almost certainly has gone negative at this point, well, why would you want to try that? There are boardrooms absolutely filled with people doing risk to reward management every single day. And do you really think that any of those people would be looking at this example and saying, yeah, this is a worthwhile venture. Let's go on Roblox, take down a bunch of games, piss off hundreds of thousands of people, and then put out a game that now nobody is going to play because they're all angry at us. And then we, then we lose money. So let's go lose money. I, I, I can't see it. Now, does it mean that there is a 0% chance that this happens? Absolutely not. I mean, after all, when we take a look at the actual like copyright holders of a lot of these anime and, and manga related things, it basically falls under one giant umbrella that is Shueisha Publishing, who effectively serial serializes every single one of these extremely popular animes in their in their Shonen Jump and such magazines. So, like, in all technicality, if Shueisha just wanted to come in and nuke everything and make their own, legally, sure, they could. Um, any day of the week, they could hand out rights to whoever they wanted to. Uh, and just, just nuke it from orbit. But like I said, at the end of the day, if they're not going to be making money off of it, then why the hell would they bother? It just doesn't make sense. There's been a lot of controversy and hands pointed around, especially when it comes to a tweet that I don't know if I'm going to be able to find, that was sent out by someone from Rel Games who's making the uh, ever popular, even though it doesn't even exist yet, Rel Seas. Uh, and they basically said that they had insider information that buying the rights to these things and, and getting blessings is really expensive and that uh, the doomsdays are coming. But like, how, how would you not have known this by now? I feel like this can't be anything other than drumming up drama for no reason. Because, like, how, how could you be clueless enough to not understand that you're not allowed to take things that other people own and use them and make money? How is that still a thing we haven't figured out? Just, just, just so we're clear, look me in the eyes, look me in the eyes. You are not allowed, legally, to take someone else's property and turn it into something that you made and then make money off it. That's, that's not, that's not how it works. You, you can't do that. Now you understand. So yeah, the game looks terrible. I don't really see any massive changes on the Roblox platform as a whole. Obviously the My, My Hero games are down for right now. They probably won't come back as long as this exists. There's a chance that there's some sort of save face operation done by the publishers in order to make themselves look less bad where they take this down, or maybe they just leave it to rot. I'm not entirely sure why they thought a paid beta was a good idea. I'm not entirely sure why they thought that a paid beta this bad was a good idea. Because I, I really think that if they had just gone in, made a good game, and made it free, like, you know, almost the entirety of the rest of Roblox, then they would have had a chance to actually topple some of these giants and not have everyone pissed off at them. Because they could have had a lot of people pissed off, but they also could have had a bunch of defenders and they could have started a war, but instead, they just screwed up on every single possible front and now nobody is happy with them. Which, that can't be a very good investing move, but whatever. I don't really have anything else to say on this, it's a pretty cut and dry topic, despite what the arguments seem to say otherwise. So, I'm gonna end things off here. 
If you're really worried about this, you think that your favorite anime game is going to get taken down really, really soon, I wouldn't count on it, but you also have to be aware that this stuff is in very, very dangerous territory, and at literally any moment, legally it can just get nuked from the platform, whether it be Roblox choosing to do it, or the publishers and copyright holders choosing to do it. You never know. But at the very least, I can't see this specific game being the catalyst for the Roblox anime Armageddon, you know? With that though, I am done here. So if you enjoyed the video and uh, you want to avoid some doom and gloom, spread this video around so, you know, other people can sort of get the memo. If not, don't do those things. And with all that being said, have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I'll see you guys next time.